Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another video episode of Pancakes Plus, the video channel that uh, has about all things breakfast foods uh, with special emphasis on pancakes and uh, French toast. But uh, for this video, we're going to go to the plus side of Pancakes Plus and uh, show you how to make a side dish that's a really good alternative to hash browns, uh, grits, or even fried potatoes, home fries. Uh, we're going to do grit cakes. Now there's a lot of folks that even in the South are not familiar with grit cakes. So it's, uh, it's really simple. And uh, so we're going to start right here by heating some water. I've got five cups of water in the stewer. Put a little salt in it and let that come to a boil, which I should have already done. Uh, I've got an induction cook top here, so it won't take but just a second for it to come to a boil. Then when I do that, when it comes to a boil, we're going to add one cup of a Quaker Old Fashioned Grits. Now, I like the Quaker Old Fashioned for this because they stand up better in the, uh, in the, the uh, process of finishing up the grit cakes. So the water's almost come to a boil, so it'll be just a second. See there how it's kind of coming up here. Let it come to a rolling boil. And uh, here we go, it's almost there. Like I say, this induction cooktop is amazing. It's based on magnetism. I have no idea about the physics of it. I just know it works. I need to do a demonstration on it one time when we're going to show you a trick. Doesn't mean anything. It's not. Doesn't have any practical application, but it's just amazing to me. Okay, we've come to a rolling boil. I'm going to stir in the grits. Back to a rolling boil, turn it down to, to a simmer, put the cover on, and wait. Set the timer to about 20 minutes, and then the grits will be ready. And that's what I have in this little pot right here. These are ready to go, and as you can see, they're nice, thick, and creamy, like this. So to this, we're going to add one cup of sharp cheddar cheese. One cup of sharp cheddar cheese goes in there. Stir that around, get that mixed in real good. And let the cheese melt. It'll turn the grits a little orange. I, I like my grits like I like my movies. I like them really cheesy. And pun jokes are a little cheesy. So, now that we've got that, this is an 8x8 eight eight pan. We're going to spray this with a little cooking spray. to cover the bottom of this with some plastic wrap. And we'll show you in just a minute why we're doing that. Cover that with just a little bit of plastic wrap. Make sure it gets down in the corners and the sides real well. Okay, now then we pour our cheesy grits into the pan. So, get all of that good cheesy stuff out of there. You want these to be about the size when, when you start to make them. You want them to be about the size of a fast food hash brown. So they, they're not real thick and not real big, but they're real big on flavor. Okay, so we got that. Now then, level that out. Now, set this aside, let it come to room temperature, 
then cover it totally with another piece of, of, of uh, plastic wrap and push the plastic wrap down on top of it so that it's touching the top of the grits. And then you stick it in the refrigerator. After you do all that, <coughs> and that's what I have right here. You can see that I have covered it in the top. Can you get a shot of that, Alex? The plastic wrap is down next, is touching the grits all over. Peel them off like that. Discard that. Now then, one little semi-sharp knife. Take this little knife. And I'm just going to do half of them in the in the grit cake style, and then I'm going to come back later and do another style. So you cut it into fourths, and come back in here cut it down and make a triangle out of it, like so. So there we are, we have got, we've gotten ourselves uh, some triangles. Now then comes the fun part. We need to bread these. We'll set the breeding station up over here. Don't have enough room over there. Okay. So, we're going to do a three step bread on these. A three step bread. We're going to use regular flour in this one, do an egg wash, and then panko, or Japanese breadcrumbs. And to all of these we have added a little bit of, of uh, salt and pepper, and we're going to use the wet hand dry hand method to bread these. You can see right here the reason you put the plastic in the bottom so it will peel up nicely and you can pull that out. So we put that in there and make sure it gets covered with the flour. Take your dry hand. Shake off the excess flour. Put it in the egg wash with your wet hand. Make sure it's totally coated with the egg wash. This needs to cool at least an hour to two hours before you start messing with it. Put it back in the panko. Put you some panko in there, kind of press it down, make sure the panko sticks to the sticks to the uh, grit cake. Like so. And we're going to lay this little fella down right in here, like that. Go back with your next one. Pull it up. Put him in here. We're just going to do two of these for the sake of demonstration. And with your dry hand, you pull him up. in the egg wash, wet hand. Make sure you get the egg wash on him real good. Put him up. Let the egg wash drain off a little bit. Put him in the panko. And with your dry hand, make sure that you punch him down a little bit. Make sure that panko sticks to him. Let's drop these in the deep fryer. Very 
careful. Doesn't take long for them to fry. Then when they come out, drain them off here on our um, cooling rack. And I've got on a sheet pan. Put aluminum foil over the sheet pan and some paper towels to absorb the grease. So when they get finished, we will. Oh yeah. Bubbling all nice and neat and pretty. It's really good if you can leave those grits in the refrigerator overnight. Let them get really chilled. After you put them in, after you cover them with the, the plastic wrap. Oh yeah. Look at that. How about that? Does that look good enough to eat or what? Let them drain for just a second. Pour them out on your cooling rack. Douse them with a little salt. And they're ready to go on the plate with, with your bacon or sausage or ham or whatever and your uh, eggs a side stack of pancakes maybe or some uh, biscuit and gravy or some um, what else am I trying to uh, toast and jelly any of those and that's uh, so there you have it that's grit cakes for breakfast now then let's go back over to the uh, the cutting board here. I'm going to show you something else. When um, when you make your grits, before you pour them up, there's a lot of different things you can do to them. You can put in there whatever you would like to put. Um, I'm going to cut these into smaller triangles, like so. Cut these into smaller triangles and do the same thing with them. And this is more of an appetizer. So if you put into the um, grits, you could put um, bacon bits and have maple syrup as a as a dip. You could put some jalapenos and use uh, Mexican uh, cheese and use a salsa as a dip. You could chop up some pepperonis, Italian sausage, uh, prosciutto, and Italian pizza cheese in the grits and uh, serve it with marinara sauce as an appetizer. Or you could just use it plain like this and use it instead of hash browns when you get your fast food biscuit in the morning. Carry your hash browns with you. Or if you make your own, you could, you could uh, fix these the night before. Have them breaded in the refrigerator. Take them out in the morning. Take them out in the morning. Throw them in some grease. And have you some grit cakes to eat with your biscuits that you've made. As you go to work or school or wherever. Make a few of these and then we'll show you how, how they look. Dry hand. You can make these plain as an appetizer also. 
use remoulade as a sauce or comeback sauce. Comeback sauce is, I love comeback sauce. Now, there's as many recipes for comeback sauce as there are families in, in uh, Mississippi. And as many recipes for remoulade as there is families in Louisiana. And they're both really good. I, personally, I like the uh, comeback sauce. Drop that in there. We'll do one more. Just to show you what's going on. There's endless possibilities on these things as an appetizer. Especially, you can do. You can add any kind of cheese you want to it. You can add any kind of meats. Then you can use an appropriate dip for them. Salsa, queso. The queso cheese would be good with that. With that uh, Mexican cheese and, and jalapenos or chipotle. We'll put three in there. You can do more than three at a time, but that's enough for demonstration purposes. Drop that down in there. I think maybe two of these probably would be a good serving for a, for a breakfast. They're, they're fairly large. And five or six of these would make a good snack. Or a good, uh, a good accompaniment to a light breakfast, a biscuit, omelet, something like that. Western omelet with some Mexican style uh, grit cakes. Oh, that would be, that would be really good. So, almost, almost there, Mr. Alex. Now, you do want to uh, salt these right after they come out of the grease. That's when the, that's when the product will retain the salt the best. Yeah, I believe that's about done with right there. Look at that. There you go. Individual small appetizer style grit cakes and uh, accompaniment for breakfast grit cakes. Take the, it's a good alternative for uh, grits or hash browns or home fries. Makes it a little bit different. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to share it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got it up on the, on YouTube. So uh, be sure and subscribe. That way you'll get notifications when we have new videos coming out. And until the next, next episode, my name is Butch. Wishing you Heart of Dixie dishes from the Heart of Dixie.